The August 9th shooting death of Michael Brown set off weeks of protests. Now, a leaked copy of the official autopsy is shedding new light on the case. As John Frick explains, this comes on a so-called day of protest across the U.S. Michael Brown's official autopsy shows his gunshot wounds included a shot in the hand at close range. Those details come from the official autopsy leaked to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch newspaper. A county official close to the investigation has authenticated the document. The hand wound could support Officer Darren Wilson's account that the 18-year-old tried to grab his gun as he and the unarmed teen scuffled at his patrol car. An expert says that one wound might not tell the entire story. Like a person can be up like this about to, to punch you, to assault you, and the gunshot wound can go from front to back. A person can be surrendering in the gunshot wound, so you have to be very careful looking at these. Brown's blood was found on the officer's uniform and inside his police car, law enforcement sources told CNN this week. The Brown family's attorney says the attention should be on what happened next. That's not when Michael died. Michael died later as, as the officer got out of his car as Michael was running away from him and the officer decided to shoot at him as he ran away. Both the official autopsy and a private autopsy conducted by Brown's family show he was shot at least six times. All these facts playing into the decision a grand jury is grappling with right now, whether to charge Darren Wilson. Ultimately, that officer will have to come up with justification, not for firing his gun the first time, but for each and every bullet that came out of his firearm. Reporting in Atlanta, I'm John Fricke.